TTN Radio. Now the news on Wenjie. Super Typhoon Jackie has pounded South China with heavy rain and gusty winds, leaving at least four people dead and over 90 injured. The 11th Typhoon of the Year made landfall twice on Friday, first striking Hainan Province and later Guangdong Province. In Hainan, the storm uprated trees, caused power outages and flooded roads. Authorities have mobilized workers to restore power to affected households. Rescue teams are also racing to restore communication networks. In Guangdong, Yagi had forced the relocation of over 720,000 people. As the storm weakens, several cities have been resuming classes, work, and transportation. Yagi has also wreaked havoc in Guangxi region, forcing the evacuation of about 60,000 residents. Omar Khan reports from the coastal city of Zhenjiang in Guangdong province. Typhoon Yagi, the super typhoon, the strongest in around a decade, luckily for parts of Guangxi, although they did see torrential downpours, suspension of uh, on-sea activities and boats. This typhoon has actually made landfall in Vietnam. It, uh, we're following some of the developments from the China-Vietnam border. But here in Zhenjiang, where we've been for the past 48 hours, uh, a few details to go over here. The majority of the emergency response and alerts have all come down uh, in this part of Guangdong province. Was you asked about public services. Let's begin with the infrastructure. All major bridges in Zhang City have come back to full operations. China's top economic planner has allocated 200 million yuan, or about 28 million U.S. dollars, to support disaster relief and recovery efforts in Hainan and Guangdong provinces. The funds will help to repair damaged infrastructure, including roads, bridges, water conservancy facilities, schools, and hospitals. The Ministry of Water Resources has dispatched working teams to guide flood prevention efforts in Hainan, Guangdong, Guangxi, and Yunnan. 